hello guys in this video i am going to show you how to cascade the 4026 ic and basic function of pin number 5 and pin number 15 of 4026 so let's get started for this project we need three pieces of 4026 IC and 3 pieces of 7 segment display. Pin number 2 and 8 both are connected to the ground and pin number 3 and 16 both are connected to the plus 5 volt. Here it is first IC, this one is second IC and this one is third IC. So first IC should be connected to the display 1, second IC should be connected to the display 2 and third IC should be connected to the display 3. This one is 1's display, this one is 10's display and this one is 100's display. The display has 7 pins A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So pin number A should be connected to the pin number 10, B should be connected to the pin number 12, C should be connected to the pin number 13, D should be connected to the pin number 9. E should be connected to the pin number 11, F should be connected to the pin number 6 and G should be connected to the pin number 7 of the IC. And these pins are connected through a resistor. The value of the resistor is 220 ohms. Now pin number 5 of first IC is connected to the pin number 1 of second IC. Pin number 5 of second IC is connected to the pin number 1 of third IC. If you need more displays then pin number 5 of third IC should be connected to the pin number 1 of fourth IC. Now come to the pin number 1 of first IC. Here we will connect clock input. We will provide clock pulse through a push to on switch. The other side of the switch should be connected to the plus 5 volt. And another pin of the switch should be connected to the ground through 10 kilo ohm resistor. And it is also connected to the pin number 1. As these displays are common cathode, the middle pin of the display should be connected to the ground. Now come to pin number 15. Now connect all the pin number 15 together. And then these pins are connected to the ground through 10 kilo ohm resistor. And if you want to reset all the IC, then you have to connect pin number 15 to the high signal. So to provide high signal, we have to connect them to plus 5 volt. And in between this, we are going to connect a push to one switch. And as an indicator of resetting the IC, we will connect one LED through a resistor. The value of the resistor is 220 ohms. And the anode pin of the LED is connected to the resistor and cathode pin should be connected to the ground. So whenever we press the switch, this LED will glow. So this is the circuit of cascading 4026. Now let's see this on the breadboard. Now put all the IC and the displays. Now put all the resistor for the display. This one is first IC, this one is second IC and this one is third IC. These resistors are for first IC, these resistors are for second IC and these are for the third IC. And this one is first display, second display and third display. Now pin number 3 and pin number 16 should be connected to the positive rail and pin number 2 and 8 should be connected to the negative rail. Now connect all the pin number 15. Now pin number 15 is connected to the ground through 10 kilo ohm resistor and pin number 1 of first IC should be connected to the ground through 10 kilo ohms resistor. Now put the push to one switch. One side of the switch is connected to the pin number 15 and another side of the switch is connected to the positive rail. And again 220 ohm resistor is connected to the pin number 15. Any one of them, I am connecting it here. And then one LED is connected to the resistor. The anode pin is connected to the resistor. 
and cathode pin of the LED is connected to the negative rail. Now it's time to connect all the resistors to the IC. Now I'll start from third IC. Pin number 10 is connected to the first resistor. Pin number 12 is connected to the second resistor. Pin number 13 is connected to the third resistor. Pin number 9 is connected to the fourth one. 11 is connected to the fifth one. Pin number 6 is connected to the sixth resistor. And pin number 7 is connected to the seventh resistor. Like this, we have to connect them all. Now it's time to connect resistors to the display. As these displays are common cathode, so middle pin of the display is connected to the negative rail. Now connect all the negative rails and the positive rail. First resistor is connected to the pin A. Second resistor is connected to the pin B. Third one is connected to the C. Fourth one is connected to the D. Fifth one is connected to the E. Sixth one is connected to the pin F and seventh resistor is connected to the pin G. So like this we have to connect them all. Now we have to put another push to one switch. One side of the switch is connected to the positive rail and other side of the switch is connected to the pin number 1 of first IC. Then connect pin number 5 to the pin number 1 of second IC. And pin number 5 of second IC is connected to the pin number 1 of third IC. Now whether the switch is pressed or not, to indicate this, we have to connect one LED. The anode pin is connected to the other side of the switch. And cathode pin of the LED is connected to the ground through 330 ohm resistor. Now if you have any doubt on this connection, then this is the connection I have connected here. This red LED is connected to the pin number 1 or other side of the switch. Here is the LED. And with this, 330 ohm resistor is connected to the cathode pin of the LED. And then it is connected to the ground. So this is the connection I have connected here. Okay. Now this is all about the connection. Now connect 5 volt power supply, here is the negative and here is the positive. After connecting the power supply, it will show some random numbers. To make it zero, you have to reset the IC. So for this, we have connected already a switch to pin number 15. Now just press this switch. See all the IC get resetted and it makes the counter zero. Now if you press this switch, the first count will be one. Now again two. And if you press it like this, it will count. This will count from zero 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 to nine nine nine. Okay, I'm resetting the ICs. Again, it is 000. So, this is the basic function of pin number 15 and pin number 5 of 4026. So, for the counting purpose, you can connect a pulse generating circuit to this circuit. And this pulse generating circuit, like this with 555IC, and I have already explained this circuit in other video, link in the description below. Now you have to connect the power supply to that circuit. Now connect negative to negative rail and positive rail to the positive rail. Now this circuit is now generating the pulses. As we know, output pin of triple 5 is pin number 3. So pin number 3 of triple 5 IC should be connected to the pin number 1 of first 4026 IC. So this is how the counter is working. Now it will count up to 
okay so like this this circuit will count from 000 to 999 now if you press the reset switch the, all the ICs get resetted then it will count again from 000 now again it will count from 000 and if you press it like this it will be always 000 and again it is started so guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching